Hello and welcome back to a Pokemon Myth playthrough. We are here with part 21. This time we are in Templon Town with our good old trusty Mega Arcanine by our side. And more importantly than that, we have had a little bit of a team shift around as I do believe this is a fighting type gym area. So I did go ahead and make our team reflect a decent team for this because I figured we would go ahead and try and bring some of the more unique Pokemon to this game into the pie. Most notably, we have Rakalossus, which is the evolved form of Dracane. I really didn't expect this thing to evolve again. I was along the, the thought process of thinking it would be like a Houndour to Houndoom. <laughs> Houndour. <laughs> but yeah, Houndour to Houndoom. Turns out it has a third evolution at 43, so reasonably late. Pretty good stats, good physical attack. Uh, we were running this thing as a Swords Dancer with Cross Poison and Dragon Claw. Crunch for a little bit of coverage, but for the most part, Cross Poison, Dragon Claw. Uh, it does have Intimidate though, and it is resistant to fighting, so I figured we would put it on the team and get it trained up a little bit. We also have Crobat back on the team, not as a Mega now. Not as a Mega. I actually don't like the Mega Sprite compared to a lot of the others. Uh, this has not really been hidden away. The spike looks a little bit silly, but... That's just my opinion. To some people, they might love it. That's fine. So instead, we're running a life orb set because we learned this cool new move, Talon Slash, which seems to be slash, but better is the simple way to put it. Base 90 power is great. Uh, it's like Flying Type Leaf Blade, I guess, is the best way to put it, actually. It is Flying Type Leaf Blade, which was also learned by our good old Pidgeot as well, which is in the box. The other evolution that we had, because I did a little bit of training to make sure everyone would be ready for this and I could bring some different Pokemon, was the Hisarite evolution, which evolved into a Pokemon called Pythonova, which I love the name. Um, we're not going to be using it right now because it would be weak to fighting and it's not fully leveled and it's an adamant nature on a special attacker. It's got a lot of things not going well for it, but a very cool looking sprite. Very cool. Uh, but I did train up the, the Delugar, which will probably be put on our team after we're done with the fight. Trained up Ampharos a little bit. Uh, and most notably, uh, Pidgeot did get Talon Slash as well. I also got these two Shinies while I was training, because every time you train in this game, you get Shinies. Um, am I going to use them? Probably not. But they're there. They're there. If anyone wants to be named after them, go for it. I haven't named them at the moment, because I wasn't too worried about it. But right now, though, we are heading towards Templon Gym, as at the end of last episode, we had Bree go through his whole spiel about how he's uh, ready to go ahead and take over the world with his plans and all of that stuff. So... Vanilla and Bree had their fight. After the fight, Vanilla opened up the gems again. Oh, hello. I should I should have known there'd be another story thing before we could go into the gym. I actually just should have known. Oh, hello again, Carlos. Are you here for the gym badge? You know, after I met you on Route 2, I started collecting badges too. I just finished my battle with Reiko. He's insanely strong. Oh, you know what? I've been meaning to ask you something. You think we could battle again? I really want to see how far you've come. I'm not going to go easy on you, so don't let your guard down. I think the best way to figure out how far you've come is with a one-on-one -on -one battle. You asked me a question and then you didn't you didn't give me a yes-no prompt. You just threw me in. That's rude. Is this the thing of uh when you you trainers lock eyes, they have to fight? I haven't seen this rule in so long. Uh we know for a fact this is a Mega Venusaur, right? We saw this was a Mega Venusaur, so it will get thick fat. Meaning I'm going to go straight into Crobat and try out the new move. Because I have not seen Town Slash yet. Uh, I kind of stopped leveling once Crobat got that move. And I was like, yeah, that'll be good enough for the fighting gym. And now we're not fighting uh, <laughs> all fighting types. So we'll see how good it is against other things as well. Because Venusaur is tanky. But a crit would go a long way. A crit would make that move hit really hard. Especially Life Orb boosted. I could see it doing a ton of damage. Spikes. Spikes is annoying. A life Orb boosted Talon Slash against a Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur does have, like, base 80 HP, base 120 defense or something insane. Withdrew. Go into Archeops. This has been a terrible trade deal. Perhaps the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals. Maybe ever. Maybe. That sucks. That really sucked. I guess if we go into Serpent Sync... Well, I was going to say we could go into Serpent Sync and we would get the Intimidate, but also, what if we just hit it again and crit and took it into Defeatist and KO'd it with a Crobat? Because Crobat taking out an Archeops sounds funny, but that's also silly and we need it for the Venusaur, so let's just preserve it. We're going to take a little bit of Spikes damage because Spikes is yucky, but that's fine. It's not the end of the world. We 
probably aren't going to be dragon dancing against this thing, because I'm going to assume it has a ground type move. And if it's bulldozed, that would suck, because we would not get the speed boost. So instead, I'm just going to Aqua Tail. We do our speed. Never mind, I'm glad we didn't dragon dance, because we outsped. I actually didn't think we'd outspeed the Archaeops. That's kind of wild. Now I kind of regret it, but yeah, it's fine. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Not the Meloetta. Anything but the Meloetta. Oh no. Sound was good against flying and water. That's not good. Is Rakalossus with a poison type move one of our best bets? That and Arcanine? Sound was good against fire. Oh no. Oh no. This is really bad. We're going to go into Rakalossus, which is neutral to fairy. And sound, possibly. I don't think sound has any, in, any interaction with the moves that we have. Um, we're going to take spikes damage. That's fine. Intimidate is not going to max. That is definitely a special attacker. We have cross poison, though, which is super effective against it, as far as I'm aware. I don't know if we outspeed or not. We do not. It has psychic. We are done. We live. Cross poison gets the crit, but it's just barely not enough. Do we... I'm preserving Rakalossus. It needs XP. I'm going to go into Valor. Valor is going to take a Psychic. The Dome. He's going to hurt. He's going to take it to the Dome. And then we're going to Shadow Sneak finish. And we're not going to lose Rakalossus. Because he deserves to live. He did so much damage. It's deserved. Okay. Psychic hurts. As expected. Did actually less than I would have expected. And we're Shadow Sneaking. I could Mega Evolve. I refuse. The Mega Evolving is for Arcanine. <laughs> okay. Arcanine gets to press the button. Everyone else has to wait that dang turn. All right. Need my outburst. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Will we change our Mega at some point? I actually don't know. I don't know how much of the game we have left, to be honest, because I know they said hard mode wasn't complete. I don't know if that was meant in the, the mindset of it's not complete because there's not all of the gyms done and it's gonna lock me out or it's not complete as in like little things like battles have a couple of bugs i assumed bugs but i i don't know for sure but either way we should still be we should still have a good amount left i imagine uh we are probably gonna swap out i don't think i need the crowbat for anything in particular left now because i'm pretty sure arcanine can just like clean sweep the rest of this I would imagine it can definitely finish the Venusaur. It could probably 1v1 the Luxray, as long as I don't Mega Evolve, actually, because we would become weak to Electric, but Thunder, not going to affect us at all. Does Lucario outspeed Luxray? It should, especially with the level advantage. Yep, good. That should be nice and easy. I think this fight is going to go reasonably clean, which I am glad about because I was not prepared for it. Like, this team, this team is not a team that is here ready to go ahead and fight this chick i'm ready to fight a gym so if it does well in both that's good but it was not the plan is venusaur going to be swapped out again do you think no no we do finally take out the venusaur no more swapping out on talon slash finally no more things to resist it, i presume that life orb is putting in some work our closest gains marks be good uh do we have anything good against a vaporeon Not really. Greg time. Greg doesn't have anything great against it, but I also believe in Greg. Yes, Greg is on the team, okay? You think I'm gonna fight a gym that's weak to one of Greg's types and I'm not gonna bring Greg? Come on now. You know better than that. You know that Greg was coming. Uh, Greg also lost bounce in exchange for double edge because to be honest, the only time I can actually remember clicking bounce was when I wanted to bounce against the, the little sound type ghost thing and it KO'd it. And I wanted it to be weaker. So instead, I'm just going to run double edge so that we can smack things hard. That's the plan. Uh, but we can play rough. Oh. Greg, that Vaporeon's a tanky Pokemon. Greg, you can't do that. Greg, please. They had, they had friends. They had family. They had teammates. You can't just, just bop them like that. You just, that's just rude. I haven't even used Arcanine. 
and I'm not going to. Arcanine wasn't needed. I could have Mega Evolved the Lucario. Again, also wasn't needed, but I could have. I think Town Slash probably finishes this. Fake out? Yeah, fine. Okay, the crit fake out to be rude. Never mind, we have Inner Focus. That's an ability in, the, in a game that we call Pokemon. That's an ability. I don't use this ability very often. <laughs> inner Focus actually being used? Wild. I'm so impressed. Look how far you've come. Hopefully I start seeing you more often. That'd be great, because then we could battle more. I don't want to ever see your Meloetta again. I don't. It scares me. I really do admire your battle style. I think you're amazing. Aw. I won't hold you up. Go in there and show Reiko who the better trainer is. I will show him that he is a great trainer and that he is better than me. Thank you. <laughs> let's go and heal and then enter the gym, shall we? Alright, let's get ourselves in here. Desert. Hello, Challenger. As you can see, Reiko likes to keep his gym classic. He refused to upgrade his gym when the changes were made. Anyway, Reiko uses ground, rock, and steel type Pokemon. Why did I think it was fighting? Where did I get this from? Did I just imagine it? Did I, did I just assume something completely random and then go with it in my head? Just like, it's fighting time. Did we already do fighting and I forgot? This isn't what I was prepared for. I, it's fine. Anyways, Reiko uses ground, rock, and steel Pokemon. Three different types. To get past our puzzle, you need to memorize the path shown to you and try not to step out the path or you will be sent back to the beginning. Take this as a gift. Uh, ground, rock, steel. Is there anything I would actually like to change then? Yes, I do. I don't want rack losses, actually. We could probably take someone instead of rack losses. Rack losses will be used. We'll probably put it on the team uh, as normal. Maybe we'll take... I don't know who we'll take. I guess if they're ground and rock, I'm going to take you. Am I just going to roll with this? I don't see... Crobat being very useful here. I really don't. Um. Do we just take Snorlax back to be consistent? It has high horsepower. I think we do. I, I think I'm putting my team back to somewhat where it was before, which is unfortunate because I, I really had planned for a fighting type gym for some reason. <laughs> Either way, I guess we can go ahead and enter. Where is this puzzle? You'll have five seconds to examine the path, memorize it, or you'll be reset to the starting position. Okay. Okay. Two's, five in the middle, two's. Got it. Easy. Boom, boom, boom. One, two. Five in the middle. Did you know Reiko is the son of clay? That makes sense, I guess, in terms of typing anyway. Uh, Golem. Yes, yeah, I shouldn't be leading with Arcanine. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's a silly idea. We have the Intimidate, though, which is nice. Uh, for Steel types, Arcanine will be useful. Having free Water types will be very useful as well. So we do have some positives going, but yeah. Uh, we're going to go into Greg, because Greg is the best Pokemon of all time. <laughs> I will be off of my Zoom roll binge at some point. Explosion. But Greg lives it because Greg is the best Pokemon of all time. See? It's that simple. It's that simple. And Greg deserves all that XP. Greg wants to learn Superpower. That will actually be useful in this gym. I'm going to replace Double Edge with that. I'm going to keep Charm. And you might be like, why on earth would you keep Charm? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like some utility is nice because our team lacks a lot of utility. We don't have a lot of status. Um, most Rock, Ground, and Steel types are physical, I guess. Delugar. We have one of those. Hey. Hey, we have him. Do we have a Delugar fight? I kind of want to have a Delugar fight. I'm going to have a Delugar fight. This might be stupid, okay? <laughs> Let me clarify. How this could go wrong, all right? This Pokemon has Berserk. I'm probably going to outspeed. If my Surf gets him below half, he gets the Berserk boost, his special attack gets raised, he then hits me with Surf, and I die. Let's see if this plays out exactly how I just imagined it. We use Surf. Doesn't even do half. He uses Rock Slide. Weird. We're gonna Surf again. He's gonna get the Berserk Boost. No Berserk Boost. We get the Berserk Boost. Not that it matters because we have speed at this point. That did not play out how I thought it would. It really didn't. That was weird. He's running a physical Delugar. 
Okay. This special attack is way better, so weird. Uh, I guess with a battle in the middle, it's actually pretty possible to, like, lose track of where you were in the, the, the puzzle. So that is something to keep in mind. I think we should still be fine. My memory is normally decent, but my memory is more decent at, you know, Pokemon pipings and evolution methods than remembering a specific puzzle on the floor, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Put Delugar in front. Oh, Delugar does not have a sprite. Ignore the, the big question mark, I guess. Go five seconds to examine the path. Memorize it or you will be reset to starting position. Threes, fours, fives, threes. Do, do, one, two, four. That's <laughs> Welcome to counting. <laughs> one, two, four. <laughs> one, two, four. Yep, as you do. This is halfway, because this was a five. This was a five. So, two steps right, two steps up, two steps right, two steps down, and then we're good. We'll see if I've remembered that right. Either way, Surf should work against Aerodactyl just fine. Stone Edge is very scary if it lands, but it doesn't. So get out of here, Aerodactyl. Dang. Level diff. If we were level 50, that KO'd. Stone Edge, he lands it. Doesn't take us below half, which is interesting, because if we're good against the next Pokemon, we could still maybe get our Berserk boost if it's faster than us. And it hits us for like a little, a little trickle on the noggin or something. That's a stupid trace. There's not another Pokemon. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, straight down. He's just so good. How does he do it? How does he remember very simple puzzles? Incredible. <laughs> uh, I'm only going to Super Potion. I'm not even going to heal to full, just in case we can get the Berserk boost on the next fight. Oh, I got Chomp. That checks out. That checks out with the Sandstorm team, huh? This is going to be a full Sand team. Uh, how do we want to stop this? I'm keeping Arcanine for the inevitable Scizor or Ferrocede or something that they're going to have. Arcanine is staying for that. We have multiple water types, so I might actually lead with Serpent Sink. Serpent Sink could potentially Dragon Dance. There's going to be Sturdy in this fight, all right? Sturdy is going to happen. So Dragon Dancing is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to lead with Serpent Sink because it's a water type and it has Intimidate. And if we could get a Dragon Dance up, we could potentially destroy the Garchomp, which would be great. So, yeah. That sounds, that sounds like a plan. Uh, okay, I think we're ready. A new face. This will be fun. I'm not full health. I didn't fully potion up my Pokemon, but it'll be fine. They call me Reiko. You heard? Me and my Pokemon go crazy in the sand. I don't need to know that. <laughs> we built this entire gym by hand. You think you can break through our toughness? Then prove it to me. All right. All right, Mr. Not Fight. Oh, it's a double battle. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> That's it. That's all it takes for me to be over. I know I now have Arcanine in a spot where it really shouldn't be. This is where it all goes wrong. It's all downhill from here. Double Intimidate is huge though, actually. Wait, hold on. Double Intimidate was amazing. That was amazing. Um, We're gonna Aqua Tail. Hmm. Like, my brain is telling me Aqua Tail Tyranitar and uh, Fire Fang Excadrill with Omega Evolve. Part of me is also thinking I Aqua Tail Excadrill and swap out the Arcanine and preserve it for, once again, a very, very likely Scizor in the back or something along those lines. Because if I lose Arcanine before that happens, that would suck. Also, I'd like to keep an Intimidate around if this is a double battle. And it is going to be stuff like Garchomp and stuff like that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I'm gonna Aqua Tail the Excadrill. It probably has a Focus Sash, let's be real. And I'm gonna swap out Arcanine for now. And bring in Valor. Valor resists Rock and there's probably a Rock Slide coming from both of them. So we'll bring in Valor. We might withdrew Excadrill. Okay, we go into Garchomp immediately. That's scary. That's very scary, actually. Tyranitar protects. Okay, I'm glad I didn't attack the Tyranitar at least. Aqua Tail actually does a ton of damage to the Garchomp. I'm gonna assume that is a Sand Rush Garchomp kind of shenanigan type thing. 
and it's probably going to outspeed me. But I'm going to try and Dragon Claw it anyway, because I'd love to just have it removed from the fight. It would be great. And I'm also going to... Aura Sphere the Tyranitar. Something's going to go wrong with my plan here, don't get me wrong. We're probably just going to get, like, hit by a dragon move on Surf and Sink, but I'm going to at least hit the Tyranitar. Never mind. Never mind. Cray Dilly. This is still fine. That's still decent damage. Surf and Sink misses Dragon Claw. And we get hit by Dragon Claw. It's Sand Veil. Oh boy. Time to miss a lot of moves. Greg. Well. Greg. Greg, Greg is needed for the Garchomp at this point. Okay. Uh, we are going to play rough the Garchomp, obviously. Is it going to swap out back into Excadrill? That's very likely, yes. But I'm going to do it anyway. Um, Aurasphere really didn't do much to Cradilly. I might Aurasphere into the Garchomp slot as well. On the off chance that something goes wrong. But if I go, I outspeed my Azumarill, so if I do that, I Aura Sphere the Garchomp, it, it gets it low, sure, and then Azumarill lands the player off anyway. I wasted a turn on Lucario, basically, and that would suck. I could have Aura Sphere into Cradalia to do a, t a bit of damage before it starts setting up all of its ingrained shenanigans, which I'm expecting to happen fully. Uh, do, how do we deal with Cradalia on this team? Uh, never mind, we're all swinging the Cradilly. We don't have much to deal with Cradilly. Um, Cradilly is actually kind of scary for us. Cradilly. Oh no. Oh no. New Mega Time, though. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Ooh, okay. That's actually great. That's a great Mega. That's amazing. I like that. Uh, Earthquake. We half avoid it. Cradilly is going to be hit by it? It is. The Aura Sphere as well. Decent damage. Uh, Greg outspeeds and misses. An energy ball hits Valor and KOs. Um. Okay. Okay. Right. We can do something here a little bit cheaper. If I bring in Arcanine, and I Mega Evolve my Arcanine, Arcanine does not get hit by the Earthquake that is probably going to come from the Garchomp. I'm going to use... Arcanine's... Oh, can I Mega Evolve? I can't Mega Evolve Arcanine to heal. Damn. Okay, I'm still going to do this. My, my thought process was if I Mega Evolve Arcanine and use Arcanine's turn to heal Azumarill... They Earthquake KO their own Cradilly, and then I use Azumarill's turn to play rough Garchomp. That's not going to work. Um, so I guess what I'm doing is I'm healing on Azumarill's turn to get it full HP, because I don't want it to die to an Earthquake. And I'm going to use this turn to slap a Fire Fang into Cradilly and hope that it's enough to KO. Uh, Earthquake was neutral, so I'm assuming it didn't have a type change. We will be immune to Earthquake gonna do that. Withdrew Cradilly. Okay, that's also fine. Going to Nidoking. That's fine. Fine. Uh, it's a neutral Fire Fang into it, which, to be honest, is one of the better situations that can happen. Is is the Garchomp still Earthquaking? Because if so, that Nidoking is going to disappear. I hope the Garchomp is Earthquaking. I really do. That's best case scenario for us. Fire Fang on Nidoking. Decent damage. Poison Point sucks. Garchomp used Earthquake. Your Nido King, sir. Yup. Yup. Okay. Good. See, now we can use Arcanine's turn to heal Azumarill, and Azumarill can play rough the Garchomp again. And hopefully not miss. <laughs> this all could have been avoided if we just hit the moves, but, you know. Sandvale. Yucky. Seismitoad. That's gonna suck. That might be a Snorlax situation. I think Snorlax versus Seismitoad, Snorlax can probably win. But that's gonna suck. Uh, yeah, we are going to... 
again, play her off into the Garchomp, and I'm going to use this turn to heal Azumarill, because Azumarill needs to be as healthy as possible. Withdrew Garchomp to go into Cradillia. Okay. Taking out Cradillia is still nice. Gold into Arcanine lives barely. Very, very barely. Um, this can still work out as long as we survive the poisoning, which we should. We do. Tyranitar comes out. I have superpower. I do. I do have superpower. And this would be the time to use it, because it will annihilate that Tyranitar. And I mean annihilate. I am going to superpower the Tyranitar and just slap a massive heal onto Ubu. Ubu is such a dumb name. I'm going to full restore Ubu. Ubu's probably getting hit by a Rock-type move here. I will be honest, I am I am aware of that, but on the off chance we can survive. Scald, we live that. Superpower outspeeding the Tyranitar so we don't get hit by a Rock Slide. Okay, this is going very well so far. Uh, other than a pretty rough start of, you know, not expecting the double battle, but still, it's, it's kind of worked out. I don't think Delugar is worth having is what I'm learning from it still being in the back. I think Snorlax still has potential to be really useful. Uh, I am play roughing the Garchomp. So that's all I need from Azumarill at this point. I just need that. That's all I, I require from it. And I'm going to heal Arcanine. Just to preserve it. Just just to make them use two moves on it, basically, if they, if they can. Garchomp Earthquakes? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Play rough. Misses again. Oh no. Is this like Bright Powder Sand Veil? Is, it, is that the kind of shenanigans that we're dealing with right now? That might be the shenanigans that we're dealing with right now. Um... Do I try and focus my attacks into doing as much damage to Seismitoad as possible so it's just the Garchomp on the field? Is the new plan. Do I play rough into Seismitoad? The Seismitoad is also kind of hard to deal with with my team in the back. Not as hard as the Garchomp, don't get me wrong. Garchomp is way scarier. Garchomp is so much scarier. I also don't know if it's these two Pokemon remaining or if there's a third. I feel like it's just these two, but I've not been paying the most attention because there's scary Garchomp on the field. I'm just attacking. I'm, I'm doing the same thing again. I am. I know there's probably an Earthquake coming my way, and it's going to hit Azum real hard because I superpowered and lowered its defense. But still, there's the Earthquake, which does hit the Seismitoad. Pretty hard, actually. It did hit the Seismitoad pretty hard. Play rough. You're actually kidding me. It's not funny anymore. Okay, now it's no longer funny. That's just annoying now. Um, hmm. Something's dying this turn because of that miss. If we didn't miss, then there was a chance that we could have extreme speeded the Garchomp with Arcanine after the substitute was broken, but that wasn't what happened. So now we're in this situation. Uh, we can let Arcanine die to heal Azumarill and go for another play rough with Azumarill, this time into Seismitoad so that we don't miss because I'm tired of missing. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. We're going to heal up Greg to full. Let Arcanine go down. Arcanine doesn't have Intimidate now that it's Mega Evolved. It has White Smoke. I feel like this is fine. Realistically, it's just been there to, to click its heal button. If this earthquake crits, I will cry. Oh. It did not crit. Alright. Hopefully we take out this Seismitoad, because we shouldn't miss. Okay, we don't miss. We can bring out Snorlax here. Um... There is still an Excadrill. Right, okay. That's bad. <laughs> that Everything everything just got so much worse. It did. It just got so much worse. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring out Delugar, hoping that something earthquakes. I need something to earthquake. I do. I actually need something to earthquake. 
I am going. Deligar is not living in Earthquake regardless. Azumarill is not living in Earthquake regardless. Out of the two of them, I'm going to assume Excadrill is going to outspeed. The only way that anything goes well here is if Deligar somehow outspeeds and is able to surf. And I don't see that happening. I think we might actually be in a situation where we're using a, a revive. Yeah, those exist. Those exist, I know. Crazy. Um, who are we reviving is also a good question. Surf and Sync has Intimidate. It does. And that's very valuable. I'm going to revive Surf and Sync. I think the Intimidate is very valuable. And I'm going to try and Surf. I could double revive, but I'm going to just try and Surf. On the off chance that it's also Sand Veil or something. High horsepower. That's the worst possible thing it could have done. I thought at least Earthquake would break the sub. But Garchomp Earthquakes and KOs the Excadrill. This is a very close, good fight, actually. This is this is an enjoyable fight. Um, Sandstorm subsided. Oh, really? Oh, really? It did it now. Okay. Okay. Yep, no Intimidate going through because of that. That's fine. We are going to Body Slam into the Garchomp. And we outsped when we brought in Serpent Sync before because this all started... Because we missed the Dragon Claw against this one Garchomp. So we just don't miss. There's no more Sand Veil. We Dragon Claw. We land it. Goodbye Substitute. We just have to land Body Slam, which is 100% accurate. We just land Body Slam, which is 100% accurate. No Bright Powder shenanigans. Body Slam lands. Garchomp faints. That should be the fight. What a close fight. Also the level 50 from it. What a good close fight. Dang. Wow. Okay. That that came down to the wire, but that was a good fight. Well done. Cracked us right in half. Take this. The tumble badge. Okay. Take this as well. It may help you later on. Stone Edge. Stone Edge is a good TM. Well, TR, I should say, in this game. Uh, okay. You can go a long way. I believe in you. Thank you, Snorlax. Thank you very much for not missing. Missing... Oh. Right, it put, okay, okay, I see what happened. Okay, no, 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 I, I just want to leave. I just want to leave. I don't need to memorize the path. Just let me go. It's fine. It would, I, I am intentionally falling off, okay? There we go, okay. I just, yes, <laughs> I ran back in, okay. I would like to heal. Don't throw me into another battle game. I know what you're like, all right? I know what this game's like. They love to throw in an important battle one after another, but let's just, let's just go heal. And let's say that this was a big, fat success. Uh, as for what Pokemon we want to have on the team for next time, I will decide that at the start of next episode, because I <laughs> was very prepared for a fighting type gym, and I should not have been. But I feel like the Pokemon we brought were fine. I'm glad that I trained up uh, the Pokemon that I did on the side. And next time, we'll probably at least use the, the Rack Losses, because that seems like an exciting new Pokemon. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and whatever I do.